Spirit. Praise the Lord. We thank God for, amen, another day here at Affirmative Grace Center. I want to thank you guys at, uh, on YouTube and Facebook for watching this morning and, and getting in tune with us. It's a blessing to know that you're out there looking, listening, and liking our page. Amen. We thank God for that, especially on YouTube. And then when the video goes out to quite a few viewers, it's available. And so thank God for you. We pray, we pray blessings upon you Amen. and the peace of God upon your life and healing in your body in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to continue today with a, a new series here, uh, the battle of the word, battle of words. This is a very important one yeah. because we as a Christian people have to know how to battle. Mm -hmm. we got to know our enemy. Who is Satan? The Bible tells us we wrestle not against flesh and blood or people, yes. but against principalities and powers, mm -hmm. against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And these are demonic forces that we have to always be aware of, yes. that is trying to speak to our minds and to hinder us. Mm -hmm. And it calls us to not be able to effectively do the things that God has called us to do. Yes. And the devil is always trying to hinder the yes. ministry of Christ, mm -hmm. the ministry of reconciliation that God has placed in us yes. to share with people, to be able to come to the light. Mm -hmm. uh, Second Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4 tells us that, that Satan is the God of this world, yes. and he is the one that blinds the eyes of the people, mm -hmm. that they're not able to come and receive the glorious light of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Before we get too far in it, Let's go ahead and turn to 1 Samuel chapter 17. First Samuel chapter 17, we'll pick it up in verse 37. We'll read that. Let's go ahead and stand as we read it. I take off scripture for this series. Mm -hmm. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Mm -hmm. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Ready? Read. First Samuel 17, verse 37. Everybody's still turning. <laughs> David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Amen. Let's go ahead and have a seat. We thank God for David. Yes, amen. Who gives us a great example of the type of heart that we need as a Christian person, yes. man, to be able to persevere mm -hmm. and to gain experience and to be encouraged and have courage and boldness mm -hmm. in the midst of this untoward world and the things that's going on. Yes. And man, we want to be able to look and see examples in the Bible and say, yes, this is what I want to be able to do. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to do what David did Amen. in the midst of trials and tests and tribulations. And we, yes. we learned that our tests and trials and tribulations are all purpose. The good things and the bad things, God has all purposed them. He made all things, amen, for him. It was all made by him. And he set things up in such an order where we're able to grow, develop, and progress and to become who God has called us to become. Mm -hmm. Amen. He has a plan for us from the moment we came into this earth. He has a plan for us. As he told Jeremiah, before you formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. And he wants us to understand, even from that one, that God also knew us. And that he has a plan for us. So he allows certain things to happen, amen, so that we're able to go forth, mature, develop, and to do his will. Amen. Because God wants us to, amen, be available for him. Yes. And be a vessel that he can work through. A vessel that he, mm -hmm. a man, can call yes. and they will say, yes, Lord, here am I. Yes. 
Yes. I will do your will. Amen. He wants us to be ambassadors for Christ. Uh -huh. Those that will get in the word and say what God say. Yes. That will get in the word and will not compromise. That's right. But will do the will of God. Mm -hmm. And will understand, amen, it's good, acceptable, and perfect will and desire to do it. Amen. Because this is the kind of person that God wants us to be uh -huh. when we come to him. Yes. He wants us to be courageous and bold. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be fearless so he'll Yes. Tell people like Paul to write this thing to Timothy. Amen. Uh, saying that God has not given me a spirit of fear, uh -huh. but a spirit uh -huh. of power, yes. and a spirit of love, and a spirit of a sound yes. mind. Yes. And we find that power is a spirit. Yes. And these spirits are ministering angels mm -hmm. that God gives us to camp around about us yes. to keep us in all our way. Because when the Holy Ghost come in, the Bible says, you shall have power. Amen. And we needed to overcome the enemy. Yes. We needed to be able to identify the enemy yes. and to deal with him according to the scripture. That's right. And this love we need. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the angel of love we need mm -hmm. in the midst of us, Amen. around us, yes. helping us to be able to walk in the love of Christ. That's right. And to know the difference between the love of Christ mm -hmm. and the love of this world yes. and the love of our own flesh. Yes. There are different categories of love. Amen. That we need to understand. Yes. Nothing being greater than the love of Christ. That's right. Which is what we need centered in our hearts always. Thank you, Amen. It takes time. Love is a fruit of the spirit mm -hmm. that grows in us as God begins to work with us and direct us to his word. Direct us to our knees. Uh -huh. Amen. Spending time with him and fasting. Yes. Amen. And worshiping him. Amen. This love comes from heaven. Yes. And this spirit of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need more so today. Look around you today and you find that the mental institutions are full. Yes. Amen. The demons are running rampant trying to get people, mm -hmm. amen, to not be able to think straight. Yes. And to lose their mind, to lose focus, yes. and not come to him. Mm -hmm. Even, amen, the gentleman that was in the cave when Jesus came up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he began to say, have you come to torment mm -hmm. uh, me before the time? Yes. Uh -huh. This gentleman was of the, mm -hmm. the family of Gad. And we find that when Jesus came up there, he began to ask him, who are you? Uh -huh. What are your name? He said, I, you know, we are legion, and yes. we are many. Mm -hmm. And we see that this one guy, mm -hmm. a man, had several demons in him, mm -hmm. as many as 2,000 to 6,000 demons, wow. I mean, which is a legion. Yes. And that's a lot of demons in one person. Mm -hmm. And when you get those kind of spirits in you, you're not able to think straight. That's right. Because there's voices always speaking, saying, Go left, go right, go north, mm -hmm. go south, go east, yes. and you spinning around, don't know which way to go. That's right. In fact, you don't know who you are. That's right. And this is real stuff. Yes. And you go through a mental institution, you will find, amen, that these demons are trying to take away the mind of the people. Uh -huh. And these are people oftentimes that God has called, amen, to do great work for him. That's right. And we find that even this one that had the legions, mm -hmm. amen, when Jesus delivered him out from these devils, yes. that he rose up. Mm -hmm. and went to the uh, Decapolis yes. and began to preach the word of God Amen. and began to share testimony of what, what Jesus had done for him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he wanted to stay with Jesus, but Jesus said, no, mm -hmm. go your way. Yeah. And this yeah. man had great work to do. And here yeah. he is with chains. Nobody could, I could hold him. Thank you, Lord. The chains couldn't even hold him. He was breaking them chains left and right. Yeah. But he had a call, yeah. a call from God yeah. to do great work. Mm -hmm. So the devil would try to stop you first mm -hmm. chance he get. Yeah. If he can trick you into dealing with witches yes. and goblins yes. and amen, sorcerers and wizards and yes. warlocks uh -huh. and begin to talk to them and hang out with them, then mm -hmm. these spirits can get on you. Yes. This is why it's so important for us as a Christian people mm -hmm. to know who we are around, yes. amen. Know what they're dealing with, the state of their, their being, yes. amen. Know what kind of spirits they're of. Yes. And this is why I believe God had been giving me direction, amen, talk about this thing, teach my people, amen, to be ye separate. Mm -hmm. And to come out from among them. Amen. They may not understand that light and darkness has no communion. Mm -hmm. And don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. That's right. Because if there's an unbeliever, then Satan has access to them. Mm -hmm. And he could come into them and do and say anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. To discourage you at any time. Yes. And we saw even with Peter. He was walking with Jesus. And he was saying, yes, Lord, I won't be one of them guys that will run off and scatter. Uh -huh. He actually thought that he had the ability, yes. amen, to walk with Jesus despite no matter what was going on. He thought he had the ability to walk with Jesus mm -hmm. in the midst of hardship. Yeah. He meant well. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have to understand. Even among the saints, 
People mean well. Mm -hmm. But there's a place in him of maturity. There's a place in him where we begin as babies. We got to grow up and develop. Yeah. And we'll say, yes, I do this and I do that. Not understanding, amen. We don't have the ability yet. Yeah. And it's a beautiful thing to see, amen, to hear, yes, I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. Yeah. Amen. But when the rubber meets the road, mm -hmm. amen, we find that oftentimes people are not able. And we as, as Christian leaders yeah. have to be able to discern the difference and know how to deal with people mm -hmm. accordingly. Yeah. At least we get duped and, and be very discouraged and not understanding, hey, I thought this and I thought that. Well, you got to also know what people are. Yeah. Yeah. In order to see that, we got to seek God. Yeah. So he can show us, hey, okay, mm -hmm. that one is good, got good intentions, but there's a level of trust that needs to be developed. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and amen, God is able to get us to this place yeah. and know that people have a good heart and good intentions amen, to do the, God's will. Right. And it's interesting how Peter, amen, he <laughs> began to lie and begin to cuss mm -hmm. and begin to deny Jesus. Uh -huh. But Jesus already knew what Peter was going. Yeah. He knew that he was going to, amen, rise up at some point mm -hmm. and be the yeah. apostle of apostles yeah. and lead the men, amen, mm -hmm. to a place where he wants them to be. He told yeah. him, look, uh -huh. Peter, when you are converted, amen, strengthen your brothers. Uh -huh. When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you'll be able to go ahead and do my will. You want to do it now, but there's a certain place and a certain time, amen, you got to get to That's in right. me to be able to, to do these things. Mm -hmm. We want to do God's good, acceptable, amen, and perfect will. But we got to continue in him. Uh -huh. we got to be committed to him. Right. we got to be consistent, amen, in him. Yeah. And in these things, we'll find that God is getting closer and closer to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, He's Lord. taking us to a higher and mm -hmm. higher place. We're maturing and becoming more developed. Uh -huh. We're able to withstand more. We gain experience. I mean, we gain in hope. We learn how to persevere. Yes. I mean, through hardship and dealing with hardship as a good soldier yes. you, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's get to talking about David here. Uh -huh. We'll pick it up in verse 8. Mm -hmm. We're going to deal with Goliath first. This is a big guy. And I've seen many pictures, and some of them got him, amen, looking like he's about 20 foot tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But he was six cubits. Nine feet. Mm -hmm. Nine feet is huge. Yeah. You know, first we had to measure tape out yesterday. I mean, <laughs> measure nine feet. Yeah. Trust me, you do not mm -hmm. want to take on a guy that's big and strong and nine feet tall. Mm -hmm. Unless God is with you, you got confidence that God is going to help you overcome this thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Verse 8. Uh -huh. uh, first Samuel 17. We're going to work with that chapter for a minute. Talking about Goliath. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your, ba your battle in array? Am not I a Philistine, and ye are servants of Saul? Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. Mm -hmm. And here's the army of Israel hearing this thing and looking at this monster of a man out here with swords, bigger than normal swords, yeah. armor bigger and heavier than normal armor. Yeah. And it talks about the, the weight of the armor and all these things. Mm -hmm. And amen, his armor, parts of it was over 120 pounds. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. just the armor itself. Mm -hmm. He was so big and strong, he needed extra duty armor on him. Yeah. I mean, to fit him. Yeah. And how much more would them, them shields bounce off of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, if he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then we be your servants. Uh -huh. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So there's a challenge. Yes. And this monster of man is standing out here waiting on somebody to come up with a, mm -hmm. a guy that will come out there and fight him. Yeah. And the Bible says, they were sore afraid. <laughs> I mean, you're looking at yeah. a huge army of men. Uh -huh. And the king is waiting for somebody to step up and say, hey, I'll do it. Yeah. And everybody look at it, got big chill bumps on their forehead. <laughs> I can't do it. I won't, I won't, I won't last five minutes I do this big guy. Yeah. But see, God had raised up a man yeah. out of his own heart. Amen. A young man. And there's something about David. We got to look carefully at his character. Uh -huh. 
-huh. He had something yes. that all those men in the army did not have. Mm -hmm. And that's strong faith in God. That's right. Courage, boldness. I mean, trusting in God. Yes. We read 37, we saw that God delivered mm -hmm. David out of the paw of the bear mm -hmm. and out of the paw of the lion. Yes. He was out there protecting them sheep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And anything that came toward them sheep, he understood his duty. He took it out. That's right. And he trusts God. Because mm -hmm. it takes a lot of boldness to run up on a bird and say, I'm going to whoop you. Oh, yeah. Even with a spear in your hand. <laughs> we tend to run the other way. Mm -hmm. Knowing that bear is monstrous. Yes. And that lion, mm -hmm. they're known as the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. You're going to take on a lion, you got to have some confidence in God. That's right. you got to know that you are undefeatable yes. uh -huh. in God. Amen. And this right. is the kind of faith and courage, mm -hmm. amen, that we need. Yes. Looking at David's character, uh -huh. the challenges that we have in this life, mm -hmm. the things that we have to go through, That's right. the questions that we want answered. But we don't have an answer to. We're wondering yes. what's really going on, Lord. Yes. We got to be able to trust God no matter what. No matter what. And when God shows you something, mm -hmm. take it to the bank. Yes. No That's matter right. what the enemy throw in front of you, God said it. I believe it. Yes. I'm waiting on this thing. It's going to come to pass. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. He said, put your trust in who? In the Lord. Mm -hmm. But don't trust in man. That's right. Men will fail you. But God never will. Never will. We got to trust God no matter what right. is happening in our life. Yeah. We got to trust Him. Yeah. I'm gonna read 37 again. Mm -hmm. Skip all the way down to 37. Man, let me go. Let me go to 32. Mm -hmm. And David said to Saul, mm -hmm. "Let no man's heart fail because of him." Mm -hmm. David stepped on the scene. Mm -hmm. and he about 17 years old, and they called him a lad. They call him a youngster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thy servant will go and fight with the Philistines. Mm -hmm. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against the Philistine and fight with him, for thou art but a what? Youth. Youth. A youth, mm -hmm. a youngster. How are you going to do this? Mm -hmm. And he had a man, and he, a man of war from his youth, uh -huh. from the time he was your age, he been whooping folks left and right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gonna take him on? And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. Uh -huh. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by the beard, and smote him, and slew him. That is a very high level of boldness, mm -hmm. a very high level of courage. Yes. And amen, we need that. Amen. Yes. And God is able to release it to us also. We got to believe God for it. Yes. Yes. In the midst of our trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. no matter how insurmountable they may seem, yes. God's going to see us through. We have to remember mm -hmm. that God will not give us more than we can bear. That's right. And anything that come our way, we have the ability because God has allowed us to face it. Simply because yes. he has allowed us to face it, we got the victory. That's right. And glory be to God who always do what? Causes us to triumph. I will triumph. I will triumph. I will triumph in the Lord. That's right. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And the un this and this uncircumcised Philistine should be as one of them. Mm -hmm. Seeing he has to fight the armies of the living God. See, with David, mm -hmm. it was all about God. Yes. And he knew God was going to come through. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got to know that God is going to come through in the midst yes. of it. Hallelujah. We got to know that God is going to come through. He's going to bless. Yes. He's going to do what he said he would do. Yes. And man, he began this good work in us. And the Bible says he's able to complete it. Yes. He's able to finish it because he's the author yes. and the finisher of our faith. And now when we come to Jesus, we're in heavenly places. Amen. In Christ Jesus, we are seated in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. We got to understand what's going on in the spirit realm. When we come to Jesus, amen, we're not just the same old person no more. Right. We're of a royal priesthood now. Yes. We're part of a holy nation. Yes. We are of a chosen generation. And amen, we cannot look in the mirror and cow away and say, What am I going to do? I'm about to get lit up here. Mm -hmm. No, we got to say, Okay, I'm more than a conqueror. Yes. 
amen, in Christ Jesus. Yeah. This is a battle of words, so we'll see that when these two begin to they talk back and forth to each other in a moment. Uh -huh. But this life, this battle that we have, mm -hmm. it's a battle of words. Yeah. When the enemy speaks, we have to speak. Yeah. We get this word and we use it as, mm -hmm. amen, the sword of the spirit. That's in the army, hey amen, they had us out there with these bayonets at the end of our weapon. Yeah. Uh -huh. We took and slapped them on there, uh -huh. and this sergeant was out there saying, hey amen, telling us to parry, uh -huh. hey amen, and to, hey amen, poke that thing out there and slice, hey amen, and all these kinds of things. Yeah. And we have to look at it as, hey amen, the word of God as yeah. a sword. That's right. And when we speak it, we got to know we're cutting the enemy in two. Right. He got to flee. You resist him mm -hmm. when you speak the word. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Again, in 37, mm -hmm. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. That's right. And Saul said unto David, Go, uh -huh. and the Lord be with thee. Keep in mind now, mm -hmm. King Saul is looking at a lad, mm -hmm. a youth. And he's putting his whole kingdom in the hand of this lad. Mm -hmm. As Goliath said, if we defeat you, yo, yo, if we defeat your man, you're going to serve us. Every one of y'all going to be our servants. Mm -hmm. And here's the king saying, okay, I trust this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm putting, based on what he said, mm -hmm. based on his word. I mean, he preached to Saul. Yeah. He convinced Saul yeah. that he could do it yeah. by his faith in God. So much so that Saul said, go, mm -hmm. and the Lord be with thee. Yeah. Saul got confidence. They were, they were talking so much boldness. Mm -hmm. They were talking Amen. so much confidence. Yes. Mm -hmm. He pre-sold into believing that thing. Mm -hmm. And Saul armed David with his arm. Mm -hmm. And he put a helmet of brass upon his head. Also, he armed him with a coat of, of mail. We looked at word of mail. Uh -huh. And we saw that it had to do with armor, parts yeah. of the armor. Uh -huh. Amen. UPS went on the scene. <laughs> yeah. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. It's important. Mm -hmm. Amen. Back in those days, and particularly when you got armor, mm -hmm. that you done took time to use it and train with it. That it flex when you flex. Yeah. As we talked about before, I mean, you turn a racial sword up, yeah. and that that's, that arm that gets stuck. Yeah. I mean, you might get nailed with a sword. Exactly. Or you said this, oh, okay, <laughs> boom, and it's over. Hey, Amen. We see this this thing with, with these swords and shields and, hey, Amen. These spears and things, battle can be over real quick. Mm -hmm. I was able to watch. Hey Amen. Shows like Napoleon and things, these guys, and, and Alexander the Great, mm -hmm. and these Roman soldiers and these conquerors that went out to battle, mm -hmm. and you look at that and you see it was a major slaughter. Mm -hmm. You see body parts flying everywhere, heads coming off, arms coming off, mm -hmm. Amen. Half the legs coming off. These guys weren't playing around. Mm -hmm. And when they swung them swords, you about to have a shield up there, you about to get out of the way. Because yeah. some, something finna fall off. Yeah. This is serious stuff right here. Yeah. You're talking about a young man going and challenge somebody that's nine feet tall. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's an absolute monster, and that's like David coming to his elbow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at him. You gonna challenge me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, mm -hmm. for I am not, have not proved them. Mm -hmm. And David put them off him. Mm -hmm. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had, even a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. Mm -hmm. Now pay close attention to these words here that's finna be spoken between them. Mm -hmm. And the Philistine came on and drew near David unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. And man, he began, I mean, he looked and said, are you kidding me right now? Mm -hmm. You gonna fight me? Mm -hmm. It's a joke. 
this is this, this the my Scott or the way for the other guy to come? You gonna cheer the next guy on or what's the deal? Uh -huh. He just he just dang him. Yeah. For he was but a youth and ruddy. Mm -hmm. That word ruddy mean he, he he was very red red in complexion. Uh -huh. And his skin was like, you know, smooth, like okay, you just a little kid here. Yes. And it was fair countenance. A very handsome little kid coming out to do battle with the big giant. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with, with staves? Mm -hmm. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Mm -hmm. And the Philistines said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Mm -hmm. The intent of these kind of words is to bring intimidation, mm -hmm. to bring fear. And this is why it's important for us, yeah. amen, to know the scriptures that deal with fear. Yeah. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? Mm -hmm. And meditate on these things. Yes. Because fear like to hang around. Oh, yeah. It like to come about. Mm -hmm. When we got, we got challenges to deal with, mm -hmm. fear try to sneak in there oh, yeah. and bring them chill bumps. And make that stomach feel kind of strange. Yes. We have to rebuke the, the fear. That's right. And learn the scriptures about fear on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And cast it down. That's right. And know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's right. Mm -hmm. And God has not given us a spirit mm -hmm. of fear. And here's David. Mm -hmm. Finna speak his words. I mean, this Philistine, Goliath spoke his words already. Mm -hmm. It's a battle of words. Mm -hmm. Just like Jesus did in the wilderness. Yes. Goliath spoke, and it's time for David to come back mm -hmm. with some words. Mm -hmm. A very good example. Then said David to the Philistine, mm -hmm. Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. the God of the arms of Israel, yes. whom thou hast defied. Mm -hmm. We got to come in the name of Jesus, y'all. Right. No matter what it is. I come at you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. And I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. Uh -huh. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Yes. He spoke it yes. into being. Yes. He had confidence in God's ability mm -hmm. to give him the victory. Yes. And this is where we got to be concerning everything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saved not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass. Mm -hmm. When the Philistine arose, and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And this is a big one here. He hasted. He didn't hesitate. Right. He wasn't taking baby steps saying, I don't know. No. I, I might get taken out here. Mm -hmm. He hasted. He had great confidence. Mm -hmm. He knew that God was going to deliver this yes. Philistine giant mm -hmm. into his hand this day. Amen. All these things are very, very important. Amen. We want to get to this place where we can move in this manner. Right. Amen. Concerning all things, no matter what's happening, mm -hmm. no matter what things look like, know that God is going to make a way. Yes. Thank and David you. put his hand in his bag mm -hmm. and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. He was still in, in motion. Mm -hmm. And man, he was unconscious before he hit the ground. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, life just went out. Yes. Can you imagine his last thought? What just happened? Yeah. Stone. It's kind of like watching a show mm -hmm. and you wonder what's fixing to happen. Yes. Hey Amen. This big guy going against this little guy, mm -hmm. and you expect the big guy to take him out quickly. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking, and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. your countenance changed how quick the little guy took him out. Yes. I'm reading this and I'm, I'm seeing, amen, the astonishment. 
like watching a football game, you I mean, you, you're down by six points. And all of a sudden, your quarterback bag up and throw that touchdown, 60-yard mm -hmm. TD. Mm -hmm. Stunned everybody in the bleachers. They screaming and saying, yeah, our team finna beat y'all. And then all of a sudden, their hand begin to slowly come down. <laughs> oh, what just happened? <laughs> this kind of situation. I mean, you got to see this, yeah. how suddenly David just took him out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a long battle. He said they're using all five of his rocks, his stones. Yeah. Hey Amen. He, he took one. It was over. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is very important for us. Yeah. So they prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Mm -hmm. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the shelf thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith just like he told him he was going to do mm -hmm. that's exactly what he did yep. can you imagine that big sword that Goliath had mm -hmm. and man David had to kind of work it and just get that momentum going and then go <laughs> yeah. he couldn't just take it and go mm -hmm. they get that momentum going mm -hmm. take that head right off mm -hmm. interesting stuff Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and, and took his sword and drew it out of the shelf. Thereof slew him, cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, what did they do? They fled. They began to haul it out of there. Yeah. We got to go. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. We can't believe it. They ain't getting us. But the Israelites pursued them and took them out. Mm -hmm. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistine until thou came to the valley mm -hmm. and to the gates of Ekron. Mm -hmm. and, and the wounded of the Philistine fell down by the way of Sherim, mm -hmm. even with unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. Mm -hmm. And that was a glorious day for the, mm -hmm. the people of Israel. Yeah. Because I can imagine mm -hmm. what they was thinking when they walked out there. Yeah. We're going to be slaves. Yeah. We're about to mm -hmm. lose this thing to the Philistines this day. Yeah. But God is able. Yes, he is. Amen. Let's turn to Luke chapter 4. Amen. And continue here. Along these lines, the battle of words. You see that David and Goliath had some words? Mm -hmm. But David believed in God. He trusts God. Mm -hmm. And we are to stand on the word of God mm -hmm. and trust in him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, Luke chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. Mm -hmm. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Mm -hmm. And looking at these first two verses, we see a couple of things. Yeah. When the Holy Ghost come in, mm -hmm. he goes to work. Yeah. He want to get our earth suit fit for battle. So he'll lead us and guide us this way and that way mm -hmm. to get us what we need to be developed and to be strengthened, to be encouraged, mm -hmm. and to be able to take on the battle yeah. that is ahead. Yeah. This is what the Holy Spirit does. He guides us in all truth. He comforts us. Yeah. He shows us things to come mm -hmm. and prepare us, amen, amen, for the battle. Here we see Jesus being 40 days tempted of the devil, mm -hmm. and in those days he did eat what? Nothing. 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 So it's important that we see here, when we're going through tough times, it's a time to fast. Mm -hmm. Skip a meal or two, yeah. sometimes for days. Mm -hmm. Amen, in order to be have, able to strengthen our spirits mm -hmm. and to weaken our flesh. Because yeah. our flesh in charge, we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And here's the devil inputting doubt 
that God then told you who you were. Yeah. And he showed you great things that you're going to accomplish in your life. Yeah. And Satan want to come and cause you to doubt it. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. one day or two or a week or two, yeah. things ain't going as planned. Uh -huh. And we look and say, oh man, I'm about to miss this thing. Mm -hmm. But when God shows you something, you can rest assured that it's going to come to pass. Right. He's already seen it. We look at Psalm 139, we saw some things. That God knows the uprising and our down city. He knows our thoughts are far off. Whatever we're going through, we cannot lose sight mm -hmm. of what God has, has shown us and what, what the plan that he has for us. Amen. Because Satan wants to input doubt every opportunity he gets. Yeah. This is the first thing he does. Mm -hmm. He tries to input doubt yeah. into the mind of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, uh -huh. command this stone that it might be made bread. Want to get you to do something unnecessary yeah. to prove to him. Mm -hmm. You'll come across people that'll say, if this and this, then do this and this. Uh -huh. But when you know that God has already revealed it, yeah. amen, just continue your walk and amen, don't try to prove anything. Just trust in God, mm -hmm. amen, and keep moving. Yeah. God is in control of all things. Yeah. And when he want to move, amen, he moves. That's right. We want to cause you to be victorious, we cause you to be victorious. Uh -huh. But there's a time, amen, to be in the battle and be at a place where you got to trust God. Uh -huh. It puts you in a position where you got to trust Him. That's right. You be thinking, I'm about to lose this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to trust God, no matter what's happening. Uh -huh. No matter how things look, continue, yes. amen, to trust in Him. Blessed is a man that put his faith and his trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's right. And Jesus said, answered him, saying, It is written. That man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Uh -huh. And how much time and effort do we spend in eating a good meal mm -hmm. so we can feel refreshed, That's right. so we can feel strengthened? Mm -hmm. Amen. The weaker our flesh is, the stronger our spirit is. Mm -hmm. And God began to tell mm -hmm. Paul when he had that thorn in his side that when you're weak, then are you what? Strong. Strong. Mm -hmm. When that flesh is weak, your spirit is strengthened, mm -hmm. is strong. So fasting is a necessary part mm -hmm. of going through trials and tribulations. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things are so tough, mm -hmm. you, you won't have no choice but to fast. You lose your appetite. That's right. mm -hmm. You be spending a good meal saying, I, I ain't got no stomach for it right now. Right. Times so tough, I'm so frustrated. I got to come against the spirit of frustration. Yeah. I'm so irritated. I got to burn the irritation devil yeah. so I can rise back up and begin to believe God. Yeah. Mm. It happens. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the growing process. That's right. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Uh -huh. All the kingdoms of the world uh -huh. in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. Mm -hmm. And we find that many people today are doing this very thing. Mm -hmm. They're selling their soul to the devil. Yeah. Millionaires, mm -hmm. billionaires, yeah. amen, are selling, literally. Selling his soul to the devil mm -hmm. in order to get this power, yeah. in order to accomplish these things. Mm -hmm. And they got organizations throughout the world set up in place mm -hmm. that would tell people, unless you do this wicked thing, That's you're right. not going to go any further. That's right. Mm -hmm. In the music industry, I'm hearing these things and, and begin to see these things. Mm -hmm. And these are the traps and the tricks of the devil yeah. that cause people to fail. You're already great. You already got great things going on. You're already a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna, you want to be a billionaire now. Mm -hmm. So you're going to fall for the trap. Mm -hmm. If thou therefore will worship me. Mm -hmm. This is what the devil wants above all things. Yeah. He want to be worshipped by people. Yeah. He was a worshiping, he was a worshiping angel. Yeah. A man named Lucifer. Mm -hmm. In heaven. Mm -hmm. He was thrown down. Yeah. But now the devil wants people to worship him. Yeah. Like oh, any means necessary. Right enemy, mm -hmm. his tricks, his traps. Yeah. He get us worshiping the TV. Mm -hmm. Make that thing an item. Yeah. Easy to do. 
So many good shows on today. Take up time. He get us worshiping things, mm -hmm. houses, our cars, our job even. Yeah. Hey Amen. Even the the uh, prestige that we get on the job, yeah. uh -huh. being in charge and things of that nature, oh, yeah. and being able to command people and things. Mm -hmm. We have to be very careful and, and hand it all over to God. That's right. And let God have His way concerning all things. Yes, all things. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Mm -hmm. Every time Satan spoke, mm -hmm. Jesus spoke. Yep. And the things that Satan is throwing at Jesus here mm -hmm. is some of the things that get folks most easily. Mm -hmm. Folks that, that have a great calling. Folks that, amen, maybe already millionaires. Mm -hmm. But these are things that he used, got to pay attention. Okay, what is he throwing at Jesus here? Yeah. And these are the things he throw at people, amen, that's desiring power. Mm -hmm. And has the ability to get it. Yeah. And he brought him to, a, to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, the highest place, the highest part of the temple, mm -hmm. and said unto him, if thou be the son of God, cast thyself down from hence. Mm -hmm. Suicide. Is a big one. Mm. Oftentimes, we can't get you. He tries you to self destruct. Mm. Yeah. Nobody going to kill themselves of themselves. Mm -hmm. Only a suicidal spirit, a demon, can convince someone to do that. Mm -hmm. They mean losing something, losing someone, right. losing a job, losing money. All of a sudden, you got hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars in the bank. All of a sudden, you're looking at somebody drain and dry. Mm -hmm. These guys are these scammers today. Mm -hmm. These fishing things I heard today. We got to be wise with our computers. Mm -hmm. We got people. I remember back in 2008, yeah. the stock market was getting kind of weak, and some people, a lot of millionaires, lost their money in the stock market. Mm -hmm. And some of them began to jump off bridges mm -hmm. and kill themselves. So, so Satan would take advantage of that and cause them, amen, to give up their life. Suicide. Mm. Witches and warlocks and sorcerers. Amen. I mean, when Jesus began to call them out of this stuff. Yes. Divination spirits. Yes. One of the things that Satan used when he realized that they're coming back to Jesus, he wanted to get them to kill themselves. Amen. So he can keep them before they get, before they get closer to Jesus. Mm. I've heard these testimonies. Mm -hmm. Suicide. In the military. Every year around about Christmas, we find there's an increase in soldiers' death. Suicidal situations around Christmas and Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. amen, especially when those are out uh, overseas and things. Yeah. Can't get around family. Yeah. These suicidal thoughts come. I'm all alone. I'm all by myself. Nobody care about me. Mm -hmm. And Satan use these kind of things to trick people. Mm -hmm. These are not your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Evil thoughts don't belong to us. Mm -hmm. These thoughts come from Satan. That's right. And we need to speak the word of God. I should live and not die. Yeah but declare the works of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. This is our weaponry. Yes. The Word of God. We've got to speak it against the enemy. Yes. The mind is what the enemy go after. Mm -hmm. For it is written, mm -hmm. He shall give His angels charge over thee to keep thee. Mm -hmm. And in His hands they shall bear thee up. Least at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And here we see Satan not only trying to bring forth suicide, mm -hmm. but he also using the word to be a part of his craftiness. Mm -hmm. See, Satan, he tried to parallel the word. Mm -hmm. He'll make it seem real true because he can throw the word in there with it. Yes. And there's a lot of religions that do that. Yes. They're very tricky. Mm -hmm. They speak the word over here, and then they're over here doing these wicked acts. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Very common thing today. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said, Thou should not tempt the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Concerning suicide. Mm -hmm. Thou should not tempt the Lord thy God. That's right. Stick to the word. Mm -hmm. Do what the word say. Yes. Don't try to prove a thing. Mm -hmm. Just prove to God 
Amen. And that we love him. Yeah. This is the proof in the pudding that we need. Mm -hmm. Proven to God that we love him. Mm -hmm. But when the devil had ended all the temptations, he departed from him for a what? A season. A season. Mm -hmm. It's a seasonal thing. He's going to come back. Yeah. So we got a season of peace, a season of joy, yeah. a season of happiness. We need to enjoy it. Yeah. All the while, sharpening our swords. Shining up our armor, mm -hmm. fortifying our shield, yes. mm -hmm. our helmet, making sure it's nice and straight on our head, yes. make sure it's scrapped on good, yes. our helmet of salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And know that the battle is going to come around again, because yes. there's another height in the Lord that he want to get us to. Yes. Mm -hmm. No matter what's happening, I mean, we've got to continue. In happy times, we got to stay in the Word. Mm -hmm. We've got to stay in prayer, fasting, mm -hmm. worship before our God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about him. Mm -hmm. He took care of business. Mm -hmm. We got to understand that a part of our walk with Christ mm -hmm. is going through. Mm -hmm. Many of the afflictions of who? The righteous. The righteous. And we saw that those afflictions, many things are in those afflictions. It could be from a toe ache to a headache, amen, to heart disease, amen, diabetes, amen, uh, yeah, con congestive heart failure, all those things. And if you research some, some great ministers, you will find that many of them, anointed as they was, and many devils as they cast out, and must preaching as they did, they had an affliction, or several of them. Age, age is one of those things Amen. That allow afflictions to come on, yeah. and no one is exempt. Amen. You look at, Amen. Even uh, Isaac, mm -hmm. you'll find, mm -hmm. Amen. That when Esau and Jacob came to him, uh -huh. he was on the bed, and what was wrong with his eyes? Oh, and we know the thing, Amen. Diabetes has a tendency to affect the eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know what what was going on with him back then, but we saw that he couldn't see that well. So much so, he didn't know Esau from Jacob. Yes, that's right. And he was able to be deceived. Mm -hmm. And then Jacob came in there and had put some fairy stuff on his arms and, and tricked his dad. Yeah. He had an affliction. Yeah. Paul, mm -hmm. one of the greatest apostles there was, said that God sent him, amen, a messenger from Satan. Mm -hmm. He had a messenger from Satan. Yeah. Amen, in his side, in affliction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he besought the Lord three times. Mm -hmm. And God told him what? Mm -hmm. My grace is going to get it down for you. It's sufficient. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Your earth suit is just an earth suit. Mm -hmm. Your spirit and your soul are still in there getting it done. Mm -hmm. And man, your spirit is still strong. Mm -hmm. When your flesh is weak, and man, your spirit is strong. Mm -hmm. Continue mm -hmm. on in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You can still breathe. You can still move. You can still speak. Mm -hmm. Get it done. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but God will deliver out of them all. And when we get afflictions, we need to go to the Word. Let's take a look at a few scriptures here concerning these things. Amen. When it comes to, amen, fear. And when it comes to worry and anxiety, because at some point, everyone's going to worry about something. As much as we bind worry, I mean, something happened in the family, something happened on the job, mm -hmm. uh, job maybe get ready to shut down. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, oh man, I got a family on the job, I gotta go ahead and, yep. and look some things up. Mm -hmm. I gotta That's sharpen right. my resume up again. That's You've been right. on this job for 20 years, you've done a resume in 20 years. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta go back to the computer and say, okay, I gotta tighten up my resume here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh man, I, I gotta do some research and figure out how to do a resume all over again. Yep. That's right. But God is able to direct us. <clears throat> and to cause us uh -huh. to be successful. That's right. And we got to trust him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at Philippians chapter 4. We'll look at verse 6 and 7. Philippians chapter 4. We need some powerful verses to help us through. Yeah. There's so many things that we need scriptures for. That's right. I was telling the first lady, we, we had this book years back. Mm -hmm. had a subject. Mm 
it has several scriptures going there to use for that fear, anxiety, worry, doubt, mm -hmm. amen, uh, infirmities and things, a scripture for. We need a scripture for these things. Exactly. Verse 6, be careful for nothing, or be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication and with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Mm -hmm. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I assure you, yeah. the more you exercise this, mm -hmm. the faster it will work. Yeah. It's kind of like you begin a process, mm -hmm. and it takes longer to kick in, because mm -hmm. the first time you did it, Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you continue in this thing, you keep working that muscle, yeah. amen, it gets stronger and stronger, and you can lift that thing a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And so it is with this scripture, these, these words, the word of God. Mm -hmm. The more we work it and gain faith in it, the greater our faith becomes. Right. And the greater our faith, the quickest thing can happen for us. Yes. Uh -huh. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, mm -hmm. amen, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request, whatever it is, be made known unto God. We are to pray about everything mm -hmm. and pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. No matter what the situation is, take it to God. Mm -hmm. Get God involved. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord all our hearts and lead not to all understanding. Acknowledge Him in all our way. Mm -hmm. All our way. Mm -hmm. Not some. Mm -hmm. And He will direct our path. Mm -hmm. Let Him direct. Mm -hmm. He want to get involved in everything that we're involved in. Mm -hmm. He want a part of it. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Mm -hmm. This is what we ought to do. Yeah. This is what we want to meditate on. Uh -huh. Because there's times when Satan just sit back and shoot all kind of thoughts. Remind you of every wicked thing you heard in your life mm -hmm. and begin to try to hinder you. Mm -hmm. Just try to remind you of it. Yes. And we read, we went over the, amen, the lesson, mm -hmm. forgive those things that I were. Mm -hmm. Behind. Mm -hmm. And we're reaching forth and considering those things that are before us, mm -hmm. what God has revealed, yes. the expectation of God. Mm -hmm. Forget that stuff that happened yesterday. Yeah. We've got to move forward here. Yeah. And get closer to God and accomplish the things that God has given us to accomplish. Right. This is how we fight our battles. This is how we get it done. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Let's look at a couple more mm -hmm. as we wind down. Let's look at the, uh, Psalm 27. Mm -hmm. Let's pick it up verse 1 there. Psalm 27. That's a big one. We're so used to God's not giving us the spirit of fear. Yes. But spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what Psalm says about that. Mm -hmm. 27. It's a big one here to meditate on. Mm -hmm. Just verse 1. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Mm -hmm. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Mm -hmm. He's the strength of my life. Yeah. We've got to grasp a hold of this thing. Mm -hmm. Every challenge that we have, yeah. every time we step up to the plate, mm -hmm. I will not fear. Right. I bind fear. I rebuke it. I reject it. Mm -hmm. I break covenant with all fear. I cast it down. I crush it under my foot mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm courageous as the lion. Yes. I will not fear. Right. In the midst of situations. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. The strength of my life. Mm -hmm. in, him I, in him I will trust. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Let's turn to another one here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Psalms 138 verse 8. Psalm 138. Because in this world today, mm -hmm. there's a lot of opportunity to worry. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of opportunity to doubt, even with these wars that's going on. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. 
we got to stay focused and believe God. Some people just want to go to war. When I was in Rock Island, Austin, I was told that whenever there's a war, there's prosperity throughout the land, especially in DOD. Factories get to open up again. They have to make more weapons. There's more jobs available. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. By mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. But this, the Lord perfected what concerns me. He will work it out. He will cause us to make it through. He will bless us. He will shield us from the enemy and cause us to make it through. This is about it. This is a big war. Are we going to win every single battle? We may appear to lose a few. But the battle belongs, amen, to the Lord. And he wants us to be able to just hold our peace and trust in him. He said, the battle is not yours, it is the Lord's. And you should hold your peace. I will avenge you. Overcome evil with good. I will avenge you. He will see us through every trial and every tribulation. He is our God, the Holy One. And He tells us to be holy. Amen. And walk before Him. He wants us to walk in holiness and purity. As we continue in Him, being committed to Him, being steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, He will make a way out of every situation, every circumstance. There's nothing too hard for God. He said, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There's nothing too hard for God. There's no obstacle that he cannot cause us to triumph over. He wants to see us prosper and be blessed. Let's go ahead and stand. As we close, thank you, Lord. You're the God of glory. You're the one who has drawn us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Even though Satan and God is world want to stop you from being able to call us out, we thank you for power and authority over the wicked one. We thank you for our wonderful counsel, the Holy Ghost, who directs us and guides us into our own truth. Holy Spirit, teach us. We are willing vessels. We desire to please God mm -hmm. always. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let these words, Lord, penetrate our hearts. Let these words resonate and be rooted and grounded in us. As we go forth, Lord, throughout the week, let your angels go before us to make our way safe, to make our way peaceful, to protect us from the wicked one. And Lord, drive us to our knees. Help us to keep our hands lifted up, trusting in you, shouting hallelujah in the midst of any situation, knowing that you have already given us victory. And it is you that develop us and teach us and guide us into our truth. Have the way, Lord. We bless you today. We honor you and we cherish the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. If that will be done always, in Jesus' name, amen.